Hey guys, I thought that I would try the 10 day lick challenge on random YouTube videos. So I'm gonna pull up backing tracks on YouTube in the key of E or E minor and see if I can make a solo from the 10 licks from the 10 day lick challenge. So let's see, this is kind of an experiment. I will actually put all the licks from the lick challenge at the end of this video, I'll just add them on so you don't have to go looking around for it. But uh, let's just try it. So I'm going to pull up some, I'll pull mine up first. Of course, we've got to use the Black Belt Musician uh, channel backing tracks. But then after that, I'll just type in E backing track and then see what happens, see if I can make it a solo. So here's, here's the first one on my backing track called Surf Country. Let's give it a bash. Okay, I thought it sounded pretty good. I thought it worked pretty well. What do you think? Let's try some random ones off of YouTube. So I'm gonna type in backing track in E. Might not give me any E minor options. So here's a blues. I should just have you guys. Soulful Mellow Groove Backing Track Jam in E. Let's try it. This is um, Elevated Jam Track. So we'll see how this goes with Elevated Jam Tracks. Wait for the commercial to go. Okay, here we go. Never heard this before, but we're gonna, we're gonna try it. Never heard it before, but we gonna try it. So here's the deal, it's not a blues song, and so it's actually an E major song. All these licks from the 10 day backing track are E minor pentatonic licks. Not going to sound good over an E uh, major backing track, so you need more of a... Major scale sound. So these licks, E minor pentatonic licks, they need to be on a blues song or they need to be on a uh, minor song. So I'm actually going to type in backing track in E minor and then we'll, we'll type in a uh, blues one. So that was good. That was good. Like, hey, let's clarify. You got to have a minor tune or a blues tune. Soulful chill groove backing track in... E minor. This is another elevated jam track, so we'll try this one out. This might be this one that I found when I demonstrated it. I don't know. We're keeping it random. We're just going to do it anyway.
course it works. I think that was the track that I originally did it on. Okay. This one, Paul David's guitar backing track, E minor rock ballad. These are just, I'm just pulling up, going down the list from the YouTube search here. Oh, I like it already. Paul David, you rock. This one's pretty good. Mr. Paul David's. Totally gonna work on something that in the key of E minor. Good work, Paul Davids. I like it. Alright, now I'm gonna go back in track in E, but only choose a blues song, so that's gonna be something with an E7 sound. has kind of a blues rock vibe you know um, they, they sound pretty damn good and they're usable on all these different styles this this tune I would probably go for more like a 60s blues sound this is kind of giving it more of like a blues rock uh, kingfish Stevie Ray vibe but it's pretty damn cool let's let's just keep going with it I'll keep doing the licks as many as I can remember off the top of my head Pretty good. I don't know. Is there any others that we could try? What if we tried like a hard rock one? What about that? Let's look up. Let's let me look. I'm gonna change my guitar tone probably to something a little more aggressive. <clears throat> All right. So just for fun, I pulled up a hard rock track on YouTube. And I changed the tone of this guitar a little bit, put some overdrive, 
and made it really distorted. So we're gonna see if these work these licks work on a kind of hard rock tune. I'm only gonna work the licks from the 10 day lick challenge and see if we can make it happen on this. It's called uh, the one I found says monstrous hard rock guitar backing track in E minor. So we're sticking on the E minor stuff and this one's called uh, it's by Elevated Jam Tracks again who apparently has got a lot of good jam tracks on YouTube here. So shout out. Here we go. Let's try this bad boy. <laughs> I might choose a different guitar just so it has a little heavier tone, but maybe ch show, choose like a real overdriven amp, but um, they work, you know? I wouldn't say it's the exact hard rock sound, but they certainly get close. A lot of this stuff is just the tone, you guys. So the same licks work on many different styles. It's just the tone. So uh, thanks for watching. It was a little experiment and kind of fun to just choose one of these videos at random and see if it, we can make it work with the licks. Um, at the end of this video, I'm going to paste the, right after this, that you'll see the 10 day lick challenge in the, the long phone style. So you can pick them up if you want to take them into your uh, bag of tricks. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please comment, please subscribe, and I hope you're having a great time. <laughs>
still E minor or an E blues sound like E7. I'm barring on the second string and the first string on the 12th fret. I'm doing a pull off on the first string, 15 to 12. And I'm doing it as a triplet. Triplet, triplet, triplet. And when I get to, you know, where I feel like it's, it's ready to be done, I bend the first string, usually up a whole step, but it doesn't have to be perfect. It's more about drama. So you're... Whoops. So this is the last lick of Stairway to Heaven, but I actually think of it more of as a uh, Hendrix lick. I've heard Hendrix do it a bunch of times, so. So, E minor pentatonic still. It's gonna work on an E minor chord or an E7 type, type vibe. I'm playing kind of a soul R&B type lick, similar to Hendrix, the way he would approach it. I, I got a double stop, so I got 12 and 12 on the four, fourth string and the third string. I'm sliding up to the 14 and sliding back to 12. So that's kind of a, you use pick and finger or just the pick. Then from here, rhythmically, I make this. So I'm 14, 12, 14, 12, 10. You can actually get. All right, this one is probably number one on the blues rock lick library that you need to, to assimilate into your brain. Great lick. This comes, I've heard Buddy Guy play it, Hendrix play it. This is such an awesome lick for so many songs. Great fireworks for the end of your solo. So what I'm doing is E minor pentatonic again. I'm on the third string, bending the third string up a whole step on the 14th fret. Then I'm playing the second string 12th fret and then doing a pull off from 15 back to 12. And if you can get these kind of to ring over a little bit, even better. talk fast on this one is kind of complicated e minor or an e7 chord it's gonna sound great uh up on the 15th fret of second string 12th fret second string back to 15 12 um 14th fret of the third string back to 12th fret of the second string so that's the first half just that is a good lick now you're gonna make the same pattern starting on the third string up on the 14th 12 on the th third string Back to 14, 14 on the fourth string, back to the 12th fret of the third string. So the second half is. Both of those are great. stop lick kind of Hendrixy blues rock I'm actually playing the second string 15th fret with my fourth finger while I'm bending the third string on the 14th fret up slowly and then it's 12 14 12 you can end it there that's the minor third of an E minor or you can end it on the fourth string 14th fret together you're gonna have a great phrase
lot of cats don't play on the first string and get that vibrato down, mostly because it's hard to control. But this is an awesome blues lick, kind of an Albert King thing. If you could do it on the first string, you're gonna have a lot of mileage because of how uh, intense and dramatic it feels. Like. So for one, I'm raking. So I've got three notes there. I'm bending up a whole step. 12th fret, 15th fret, back to 12. Let's try it. Change it up. rock or just straight up blues lick I'm bending on the second string with a rake and since this works over an E minor or an E7 chord I'm actually hanging out not finishing the phrase but purposely landing on the minor third because it opens the door to playing another phrase which could be that time you close the door and land on the root of the E minor. This, this style kind of the flat fingered style E minor or E minor pentatonic so it works on an E minor chord or E7 I'm coming up on the 12th fret hammering on to the 14th fret 12th fret back to 14 now I'm gonna use my flat finger to play the 14th fret of the third string and then the 14th fret of the fourth string with that same flat finger and then the third string 12th fret 